the plug bug can add a USB charging port to any Apple MacBook power adapter. Greetings everyone, it is Andrew here from my download blog. Today I have the Plug Bug World Edition from 12 South. Now there are two different versions of the Plug Bug, the original version and the Plug Bug World. The Plug Bug World has that same uh, USB port, but it adds the ability to use this all over the world with different adapters that go on the front. So you can use this in several different countries. This is really useful for those two reasons. One, just adding that USB port back, especially if you have the 2015 MacBook that has no USB port, this will bring back that USB charging to that laptop, or it can be useful if you're traveling a lot, this is a lot cheaper than Apple's option for their world kit. So when you get this, you have a travel bag, you can throw everything in, the actual plug bug itself, and then you have five different tips. And that does include the US tip that is already installed on the plug bug. So we have these four additional ones. That brings this charging capability of the plug bug to the UK, continental Europe, Australia, New Zealand, obviously North America, Hong Kong, Singapore, China, Japan, and many other places. So this is really a world adapter. You can use it all over the place. If you travel, this is immensely useful because you don't have to worry about your devices working because it'll work for your laptop as well as your iPhone or your iPad. So this is really charging a few different things and bringing those charging capabilities everywhere you go. If you bought the Apple version, you'd have to buy two. You'd have to buy one adapter for your MacBook and another one for your iPhone. So one charger for both devices. This is also super easy to use. You simply take out the adapter on the top. So we have the US adapter right here. So I can slide that out very similar to how Apple's actual adapters work. And then you can go ahead and slide off the case. So you can use the plug bug by itself as a standalone USB charger, which even for that, it's not too pricey. Uh, for the model we're looking at is a little bit higher, but basically for any USB charger, it's not too far off. So you can use it by itself, but we're gonna go ahead and use it with any Apple MacBook power adapter. It is designed to fit these, uh, I think the 60 watt perfectly. And I have the 45 here for the Retina 12 inch MacBook, which has no USB port. So you can see it's a little bit larger, but it simply slides on there when you take off the US adapter on the Apple MacBook power adapter. Then you go ahead and add whatever adapter you would like be it the US version or any of the other country adapters and you're good to go. You now have a USB port as well as a charger for your laptop. The USB port itself is very high powered. It actually is 2.1 amps, so pretty much the fastest that you're going to find to charge any of your iPads, your iPad mini, or your iPhone. Now, I don't travel outside the US all that often. If I do, it's going to be someplace that has US chargers. So I don't necessarily need the world version of the plug bug, but I do love how simple it is. I pretty much keep this on my power adapter just all the time. It just affords me that extra USB port, which comes in handy so often, especially if you have that new 2015 Retina MacBook um, right in a MacBook because it doesn't have a USB port. So if you don't have an adapter with you, you can simply charge it using your actual power adapter you would use on your computer. So that's really, really handy. Now the build quality of this is pretty good. It's not quite as good as maybe Apple's is, but the price is a lot more affordable. It's not something I would ever worry about. I'm not worried about how build this is, but it is just made of plastic. One thing I do have a little bit of a problem with is that the plug bug version of these adapters, they don't fall flat. So the Apple one, those little ends can fold flat and make it flush, but on here it's kind of, it's kind of all put together. I think on the original version it does fold flat, but on the plug bug world that is all just one piece and they will not collapse. I do love that it includes that bag so you can travel with this really nice and easily if you're going all over the world and you need a few different adapters or if you just need to grab one, it is handy. So what do you globe hopping MacBook toting travelers think of this? Is this something you find useful or do you just want that USB port and go for the standard plug bug? The plug bug world is available for $45 with a link in the description below. Let us know what you think down in the comments and until next time, this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.